These pictures are similar, but one is edited by the Google Magic Eraser and the other one is actually edited by the Xiaomi AI Eraser. Let's see which one does it better. Let's go. What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a comparison between the Google Eraser or the Magic Eraser from Google versus the Xiaomi AI Eraser. The Google one requires you to have a subscription if you're not using a Google Pixel. So you need to have a OneDrive subscription. Well, for Xiaomi, it's actually built in inside the phone MIUI. Either you're using a Xiaomi, a Redmi, or maybe a Poco device, they have that Magic Eraser AI. And initially, you need to connect to the internet to download the package, and then it will allow you to edit offline. All right, so we're gonna edit our very first picture. This is a photo uh, with some branches or shrubs that, with dark areas, although it's daytime or actually in the afternoon, but you'll have, you'll see some people walking past um, some dark areas in the picture. So that might be very difficult to edit. All right, so we're gonna do the very first edit on the Xiaomi uh, device. All you have to do is to go to your gallery and then go to your photo and you have to edit. All right, so on, on this edit mode, there is an AI function which you just have to go there and then there's an option for us to erase. So let's go to erase and of course we're going to go for remove people. All right, so on the remove people, once you press it, it's going to detect, it's going to run its uh, AI function to detect uh, which which are people and you have an option to remove them. You just simply zoom in, you tap and you click on X. It's gonna remove those people. All right, so it looks pretty clean, right? Um, yeah, it looks pretty clean. Even in the dark areas, this is for the Xiaomi. And then let's try removing those. Look at that, it's still pretty clean. And then somewhere behind, uh, let me try removing them. Okay, so it couldn't uh, detect the others anymore. Uh, how about the ones on the side? No, nope, it couldn't detect those people anymore. You can still uh, go ahead and edit, maybe just uh, try to do a manual. All right, so if you want to remove them, all you have to do is just touch and, yep. So it's gonna do like a patch tool um, or a healing tool on uh, similar to um, like Photoshop. So look at that, it's, it's already pretty much uh, pretty clean on this um, Xiaomi AI Erase. So I'm gonna save this. Okay, so side-by-side -side comparison, uh, let's zoom in, look at that. I couldn't erase the people at the back because they're just too small or quite uh, difficult to detect, but probably I can still do it uh, via um, like the manual removal. So now let's go to Google. All I have to do is uh, go to Google Photos and then other photos, you select the photo that you want to edit. And of course you press it, edit. Okay, so under edit, at the bottom just slide, go to tools and you'll see their magic eraser. So it's gonna detect which one I want to delete. There's an option to erase all, which is quite cool. Xiaomi doesn't have that. So once I do erase all, it's gonna delete uh, those that it has detected as people, but it has missed some spots. So we're gonna do that. Okay, I, I couldn't really delete it. Not unless I have to like circle it. Uh, it's, it's somewhere different uh, compared to Xiaomi. But I, I think that Xiaomi has a little bit uh, much more cleaner in, in terms of this area. But let's go ahead and delete some other people here. Okay, so on the side, yep, we also missed, oh, missed some spot. Uh, let me try and erase it. Okay, all right. So it's gonna fix it. Looks like it is looking good. Let's try erasing the ones behind. Um, okay, that, that doesn't really look very good because the tree trunk was missing if I, if I remove it. So this is the product of the uh, Google Magic Eraser. Side by side, they are quite identical. 
I like the Google because there is an option for you to just press on that uh, remove all that it auto detected uh, the people. All right, so for Xiaomi, it doesn't have that, but I think uh, Xiaomi does it better when it's, it's a little bit much more cleaner compared to Google because I have to manually remove uh, some of them here. Well, as for Xiaomi UI uh, eraser, AI eraser actually erased, um, you can just like press on the X and it actually clean it quite well. All right, so how about let's try a different picture. Let me just press on done. So it's gonna save a copy and you can access this photo on your uh, Google uh, Google Photos. Okay, so let's go to the next photo over here. All right, so this time I'm going to edit it on the Google first. So this is a foggy uh, picture on the train track. If you look behind, there are like four people there. So let's see. So we're gonna edit again, tools, and then magic eraser. All right, so it's detecting. So it has detected I'm not sure if there are, that's four people, but I'm just gonna erase all. Okay, if you look closely, well, it's almost perfect. Seems that it actually erased some part of the post, but this is a, a difficult image to process because it has some lamppost and it's a little bit foggy. So that actually erased some parts of the, of the lamppost. Okay, so same photo as you can see, this one has people behind here, right? So let's erase these uh, people again. So we're going to edit, then go to AI. Well, it, it looks like it's still a bit cleaner compared to that of Google. I'm not sure about the lines over here, but the lamppost, uh, it didn't remove the lamppost, uh, some parts of the bottom part of the lamppost. So let's go back to Google, let's zoom in. So the yellow part uh, of, of Google is still pretty clear, whereas for Xiaomi uh, UI, uh, it, it's somehow like uh, a little bit faded, but it actually blends right in because this is a foggy picture uh, but the most important thing, the details of the lamppost has still been preserved on both pictures that I've mentioned. It's pretty much Xiaomi has a, an edge on those two pictures. Let me know what you think. Also leave a comment down below. But now we're going to try to edit a third picture, which is a little bit difficult because it's daylight. Uh, although it's daylight, there are some people that's actually quite close. And uh, as you can see this picture, there's quite a few people because it's on, on the street. And then this guy, let's say I'm taking a picture. I don't want, this guy doesn't look like uh, to be in this image. So I have to remove him. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. And also you can see some pictures walking on the shade uh, over here as well. So it might be difficult to remove them. And also some people uh, behind the, like, like, behind the banner over here. So let's see how good the editing is on on these two platforms or two apps. All right, so now let's start with the Xiaomi erasers. Okay, so look at here, some distortion of the image in terms of the car because of course that was quite difficult to edit because of the shade. And well, this, look at that. The top part is actually gone. All right, so let me try to erase the, uh, the shadow or probably it's gonna erase these other lines as well. Well, look at that. So it's already pretty clean. It seems like nobody was there standing before. This is now on Google Magic Eraser. We go to tools and then magic eraser. All right, so let's see how it would be. Okay, so not quite well. Um, it, ha it has detected there are some people, but also it has detected like lines or lampposts. So you couldn't really use the erase all function. So it's, it's best if you actually just erase uh, one by one, but it's good at when you erase it, you just have to tap for the Google Magic Eraser, it actually has kept the top part of the banner. As you can see, it actually left it there, but also it didn't um, have the shadows, which we can just like erase. So same as the Xiaomi, we can also remove all of that. Uh, okay, so it took a few strokes, but eventually we're there. 
and it has some uh, doubling effect over here because it actually just used the healing tool something like a healing tool if you compare it to Photoshop so as you can see um, there's like doubling of the image on the car portion it looks okay but somehow there's there's still some remnants of the person uh, maybe some colors over there um, of the person that was crossing the street. Um, I would say that both of these uh, two devices are not perfect, but uh, basically they had a good job at using or actually erasing images. So you can actually use this if it's not much, uh, not quite a lot of people, it will pres preserve a lot of details. And if it's on a shadowy area, it's a bit tricky, but uh, both of these um, software applications are actually head on toe to toe which is quite uh, convenient for you to use. But if you are an Apple user, you can actually get a subscription on uh, Google One so that you'll have a, an option to use this magic eraser. Or if you're not a Xiaomi user, you can also go for a Google One subscription and you can, have, um, you can use this magic eraser. But for Xiaomi devices, you are very lucky because it is already built in on the device. And by the way, if you have a Xiaomi 13 or have a free six months uh, subscription for the Google One. Um, that's it for today. Let me know in the comments what you think of these two softwares, which one you prefer, or uh, basically if you're a Xiaomi user, you just definitely go for the one that is on your device. Let me know what you think. Christian here from All About Me and I'll see you on the next video.